What is up YouTube? It is your boy Diamonds here at Common Sense Graphics. Today in this video, I'm going to be sharing my experiences um, for creating the image right in front of you. If you guys have been watching my videos, then you guys know that I'm an illustrator. That's what I do. I work with Adobe products. And so switching to a whole new software, which is Blender in question, is uh, quite a leap for me. I'm doing now 3D modeling and I want to get into it because it's something that's always interested me in my life. Uh, growing up watching all the Toy Story movies, seeing how they made this. And this is pretty much the way how they've done things like this. And I want to get into it and I'm learning it. So this video is pretty much me sharing my experience is uh, when or during the creation process of this image right here and during my creation process I followed uh, a youtuber who was very informative just as a disclaimer uh, nonprofit nothing like that just learning purely educational and um, just following their steps and figuring out how to work with software and I'm getting better every single day but let's jump right into the video as we continue so the YouTuber who I was following during this um, creation process, his name is Grant Abbott, and uh, he's very informative, informative. So if you're not using Skillshare, this guy will be a really good source to use if you're trying to learn how to do it on free. And um, I'm using Skillshare and him right now uh, as my main sources of information. And uh, it was pretty straightforward, and I was able to learn things and pick up things very quickly. For example, making the bricks right here was really easy. I actually learned some commands and some keys and how to do things that I would have never would have figured out unless I would have, you know, not watched this video. And so this guy was extremely informative to me and he helped me out. He uh, taught me how to properly use the axis and uh, all the shortcuts in between that and figuring out how to center things with this geometry. For example, the circle here, I had to reset its geometry and I learned how to do that through the video. And it, um, if I would have, I, I was looking through many other places and a lot of places skipped steps like that when it came to things like this. And so I was easily able to learn real quickly through uh, Grant's tutorial and I really appreciate it and uh, it made things a, a whole lot easier um, I tried making something else in the past for some of my first projects and I was just struggling through Skillshare at first because it wasn't giving me the information I needed uh, so Grant was definitely the guy who hooked me up with a lot of the key memorization I needed when creating this and I was able to figure out how to properly work different rotations how to grab things how to move things and how to work the the canvas if you will on but as things progressed uh, through my well, I was just learning so many great things, uh, so many different tools. I was watching a lot of things through Skillshare, like I said earlier, about how to deform things, but Grant definitely helped me out when it came to deforming things more in a general sense instead of just uh, deforming like individual vertices. I was able to do all of these uh, different type of defor deformations to my image very quickly and very easily and figuring out how to scale it and stuff with certain hotkeys and it just really worked out and it was very easy to me. I learned how to do some coloring things because this is also the newer version of Blender and so a lot of the stuff that's available for us to use is older and so I'm not able to find things for the new software since the new software is almost completely revamped. Everything's kind of changed. Uh, the hotkeys are different and stuff according to people who talk about the differences between the, the 2.8 software and the 2.7 software. Uh, a lot of it's different in correspondence to the software. And I was learning and it definitely did help out um, and I learned about uh, how to see through things in x-ray vision and things like that and how to easily shape my objects how to easily slender them uh, real quickly and fast and rotate them uh, beforehand I was really struggling on how to do this type of thing but I figured it out real quickly and I just told myself that this is really nice I was able to bang out this entire project in probably about four hours uh, that's just me following along the, tuto the, 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 the tutorial to try to figure it out. And I was able to make something like this in just uh, by following it. And I uh, felt like I was in a classroom sitting down, taking notes and stuff while in this whole entire creation process. This is something that you would actually learn in a collegiate level. Uh, if you believe me or not, uh, back when I was in art school, this is some, uh, we learned a little bit of 3D in Maya. And uh, it was going way slower than this. This I learned real quickly, real, real fast. And... Um, I really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun now one thing that grant did a really cool job uh when it came to this part of the whole entire image he initially taught us how to make the well itself and then he told us for homework uh to figure out how to make 
the the roof, the, the the stilts, everything that holds up the outer exterior parts that's extruding out what I'm making right now. And so I told myself, sure, why not I'll challenge myself and try making this without watching any tutorial videos. So everything you're watching right here is all freehand. And I'm just trying to figure out how things are working. And as you can see, I'm messing up here and there trying to figure out how the duplication works because I didn't realize that when you duplicate something, uh, everything kind of follows six in line. So I, as you see right there, I click on one object. Uh, both of them highlight because it's a duplication of the original object. So they're the same thing, if you will. And so I was able to figure out how to do that. And I was just playing around with the app and I learned a lot myself by just trying to figure it out. And I was figuring out how to cut things up, move things around, figure out the vertices. And I was just really moving through it pretty quickly. And it became easier for myself the more I played to fit myself. And I uh, really did start enjoying the app a bit more when it started happening. Uh, and uh, I guess let's talk about things that um, I struggled with instead of just all the good. Um, the things that I struggled with really, I really do struggle with a lot is the camera. Since I'm working with Adobe all the time, I'm really used to working on the 2D, on the 2D base. And so I'm always, you know, working on that, just doing that. And I, I struggled with that going to 2D to 3D because I'm not used to just making the jump like that. Uh, the struggle was there and uh, eventually I did figure out how to work the camera but um, as you can see right here I'm working on these tiles whenever I move the camera the camera when it center where the tiles were at it was center or revolve around something else more central which is the well itself and so I was having issues with it and um, it wasn't easy for me to figure it out and I finally figured out how to change the geometry on it and make the camera focus up where I was actually at and things became a bit easier and um, yeah and uh, I didn't realize how much work actually goes into 3D making at first. Uh, something that might look simple, you know, because you see it on YouTube and people are doing their, their art and stuff. It's always sped up and they usually don't post what their timestamp is, how long it took them to make these images. And so, uh, so something like this, something as basic like this that I'm using a little well, uh, it's really cool because uh, I can use this in a whole lot of aspects. I can use it for 3D printing. I can use it in, in video games and stuff as long as I scale it properly properly I can make it into, into a solid and stuff like that and so I'm just learning so many cool things that's just really helping myself out um, in my own creative world but as I was progressing through the creation of this image a couple other difficulties I had um, again was just uh, probably mainly just the uh, memorization of keys uh, once I started figuring out the what the keys did um, I was learning them but then in different modes in that because the app has different modes as you know uh, object mode edit mode scope mode shadows a bunch of stuff the the keys would change function and that threw me off uh, so I'm like okay so I gotta figure this out and that's something that really threw me off but uh, eventually again like I said I picked up on it and I figured out how to attribute my own self to it if memorization of things and once I started picking up on it, it became more and more clear and easy for me and I had no issues with it after that but uh, it really was a tough learning curve for that. And then after that, pretty much learning how to shade was probably the most easiest part of the entire project. Uh, shading was pretty much simply uh, click on it and then click on objects within the object and then just change the color and it was super easy to do that. And there's not much explanation for that. You just gotta go to the shading tab in the thing. and. Uh, that was pretty much it for this project um and uh so yeah hopefully hopefully you guys enjoyed uh, listening to my experiences with blender jumping from adobe illustrator to blender but uh yeah just gotta let the video play by itself now rate comment subscribe let me know what you guys think i'm gonna continue on doing this style of video for a while as i progress with further projects in blender but yeah uh it's your boy diamonds here common sense graphics your boy out